Hello Outriders, in today's video I'm going to discuss tips and I'm going to show you a build that is perfect for the Trickster class. I'll start with some World Tier 15 gameplay which I did as soon as I got to World Tier 15 and then I'll go over the build. The build is much higher in level now but I have took off any legendary gear and only kept on the legendary weapons that were awarded to me through my playthrough. I stuck with the same principles throughout and I just leveled up my gear as I went by farming resources. This enabled me to stay OP and I destroyed everything in my path. Even in endgame these principles work well and I got to level 12 in one night. I will end the video with some endgame gameplay just so you can see how well it does and at a later date I'll come back with a further build video showing you my trickster build that I use for all the toughest endgame content. You will have to bear with me while I grind out those legendaries though as they are definitely going to be needed. My overall plan is to do videos like this for every class. So before we continue and show you a bit of gameplay, please make sure that you hit the like and share button to support the video, and if you are new here then be sure to subscribe for all my future Outriders content, and if you want to hook up with other Outriders then check out my huge Looter Shooter community, there's a link down in the video description when you are done. Also in the description is a timestamp to my Trickster build if you want to skip this gameplay at any point. Enjoy!
Moving on to the build and we start with the skills. The skills I like most with the trickster are the temporal blade, the slow trap and the twisted rounds. The slow trap offers a great amount of survivability in sticky situations and the other two offer a lot of extra damage on tankier elite enemies. And my class skill tree looks like this. I did want to go all into assassin but it proved very difficult not having any resistance on the build. So under the harbinger tree I went with anomaly persistence for 10% max health, immunity for 15% resistance, oddity resistance for 20% less damage from elites, another 10% max health, shields timeline to decrease shield degeneration by 30%, another 10% max health and then another 15% resistance. I then stacked into Assassin with Arms Trick for 15% close range damage, Ace of Trumps for 10% armor piercing, another 15% close range damage, Death Probability for 8% weapon damage, Deadly Shadow for 20% critical hit damage, another 15% close range damage, and I used Disruptive Firepower for 35% extra weapon damage when I used my Slow Trap for 8 seconds. I also have another 10% armor piercing, Unforeseen End for 20% weapon damage when attacking enemies from behind, and Skiing of the Power gives me 35% extra weapon damage for 8 seconds when my Twisted Rounds end. I then end with two more death probabilities for 16% weapon damage and an arms trick for another 15% close range damage. And here is what my build looks like. It's been like this for a very long time and I just keep upgrading the pieces. The more I get into endgame it will change because I'll be introducing tier 3 mods and legendary gear. But this build as it is is perfect for world tier 15 and even grinding the endgame as you'll see in the footage in a few moments time. My primary weapon is the Legendary Wicker, I got this for completing one of the story quests and it has been in slots since. It comes with Armor Pierce, Status Power and Skills Life Leech. The mods on it are Ultimate Ashen Bullets where shots inflict ash on enemies every one second and Ricochet where shots ricochet to another enemy within a 5 meter radius of the initial target every one second. These mods came with this weapon and I see no need in changing them. You should use whatever your favourite damage weapon is in this slot and tailor your build around it where possible. Shotguns, SMGs and assault rifles are great for the trickster class. Next is my secondary and it is probably the most important piece on the build. It is the Eventide Cleaner LMG and I have had this since well before level 30. It comes with Weapon Life Leech which is key, Skills Life Leech which you could live without and Close Range Damage which works very well. The mods I have are Essence Thief where shots regenerate my health every one second and Death Chains where shots entangle an enemy with chains dealing 81k damage over 3 seconds. This can happen every 2 seconds. The clip size is 150 and the damage is high and the only downside is the 3.8 second reload speed but I built my build around this so that is not an issue. The main point of this secondary weapon is to keep me alive. You'll see just how well this does that in the end game clip at the end. With weapon life leech and essence thief as long as I am hitting targets with this it is next to impossible to bring me down. I use the wicker to do big damage and then I use this as soon as my health is low. I also use the twisted rounds on this when the skill is ready. My sidearm is only used when I run out of ammo and I found the legendary torment and agony during the campaign. Moving on to the gear pieces and the mods can be anywhere that you want. I actually am not that happy with how much health I now have rolled on these pieces and would like two more with firepower on but they still work great. So with the mask I have the max health, cooldown reduction and status power. With the mods we have personal space which gives 15% bonus weapon damage to enemies in close range and bloodlust where killing shots increases my firepower by 6430. This stacks up to 3 times and degenerates every 10 seconds. My chest piece has max health, long range damage and close range damage. The two mods on this are Vampiric Mag, where killing shots on enemies afflicted with bleed replenishes 50% of ammo in your magazine, and Bloody Boost which boosts your damage to enemies afflicted with bleed by 15%. Skipping to the lower armor for a minute and going to the gloves, we also have the Vein Ripper mod where critical hits on enemies inflict bleed onto them. This works with the other two mods we just spoke about on the chest piece. And I also have a tier 3 Anomaly Echo mod here where I get extra firepower and anomaly power every time that I use a skill. These gloves came with the Hells Rangers pre-order pack and I just upgraded them. They also came with max health, healing received and long range damage. I recently unlocked the tier 2 mod called Dum Dum Bullets and I would now have gloves with this on and Vein Ripper if I could. 
And going back to the lower armor, we have max health, healing received, and close range damage. The healing received only works with direct heals and does not tie into the LMG heals that I get. However, it does give a buff to heals that I get per kill at close range, which is how the Trickster's heals work. The two mods here are Damage Absorber and Move Groove. Damage Absorber is a great mod to have and gives you extra armor and resistance. With the 30% resistance from the class tree that we have, enemy stasis effects are no longer an issue at all. Move and Groove gives you firepower and anomaly power while moving. And the final piece is my fuck gear, which has bonus firepower, healing received and long range damage. The Ashen Boost mod works well with my wicker and gives me 20% extra damage to enemies inflicted with Ash. I play with Pyromancers a lot too, so my LMG often gets this buff as well. And the final mod is very important. It is the Emergency Stance mod. With this, I attain a Golem Protective effect for 4 seconds whenever my health drops below 30%. This can happen every 10 seconds, and it is my warning sign that I need to switch to my LMG. While using my LMG, this will be ready to go again if I have to reload, and the 4 second effect counters the 3 second LMG reload speed, and it really does make me next to invincible as you're about to see in the next clip. And this is now the end of the video, and I do hope that it gives you something to aim for if you're struggling. Some of these mods will be perfect on other class loadouts too, but I'll make more videos for different classes when I get there. I will also make an updated trickster video once I have my final build that destroys every expedition at max level in endgame. Until then, thank you all for watching this. Remember to like, share and subscribe, and don't forget to check out my community that is linked down in the video description when you are done. Here is some expedition gameplay now where I clutch up using this build. Until next time, stay safe and peace out. Not gonna have to get you through without wiping. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, I'm dead. Oh! No, oh my god! Leave me alone! <laughs> Told you, this build's invincible. This is reaching its limit. Alright, some of these is. Alright, first that. Then that. Oh, I'm watching that. That's crazy. It's just. I know, it's just like... He's pounding on you, man. I, 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 I'm spare stock here. Stops it making me shoot every second. If I run out of rounds in this, though, game over. How many rounds have we got? 500, okay. Need to get rid of um, this thing. It keeps pounding on me. Oh, my word, can you just leave me alone for a second? Right. <laughs> it does look funny on the street, man. <laughs> please, 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 please. There we go. <laughs> oh. Ammos on the opposite side where you came to me before. Where all these are? Where I am now. Oh yeah, I see it.
Jeez. Jeez. Not gold, but that was rough. That was the disconnect, and that was a level up. Mate, I got a great clip for this build, though, then. Yeah, I never died. That was ridiculous, man. When you see that bat, when you watch that bat, that is ridiculous. <laughs>